Okay, so this is part two of installing Arch Linux in VirtualBox. Uh, we installed the basic system and rebooted, and we still have the uh, virtual uh, CD-ROM in. So that's no problem. We, now we can boot, arrow down, boot, zoom in, boot existing OS. So you press enter and choose the first option, press enter again. Don't worry about the error messages there, that's normal. And now we're at the login, and it's root, it's login, and your password that you made when installing, and now we're inside uh, our Arch installation. Now we don't have internet right now, so if I do a ping Google, say unknown. Now VirtualBox, it's usually pretty straightforward. You just issue DHCPCD. And it should go out and grab whatever the virtual internet adapter is. Give it a second and we'll try the ping again. And now we're getting the ping back. So control C to end that and clear the screen. And again, I made some notes here, part two. So we issued DHCP. Uh, now we're going to have to enable it with system CTL enable DHCP. And then we're going to shut down and then remove that the uh, virtual disk image. So it's system, no it's not, <laughs> system ctl enable dhcpcd. You can put dot service but it'll assume that anyway as you see here. So now let's shut down. So we just do shut down. This works in a lot of Linux based operating system including Ubuntu if you have to shut down through command line so shut down slash I mean dash capital P dash small h for halt and the word now press enter and boom we're gone so I'll go to settings in VirtualBox under storage you hit this one go over to this icon again and remove disk from virtual drive so that keeps everything intact and press OK now we'll start and we should uh, there we go so you press enter okay and we'll log in again root again we haven't made another user yet and your password and let's do a ping just to make sure that worked. Uh, mm. Yep, okay, so DHCP uh, service is working. Now I'll just look over our notes here. Oh yes, 64-bit, uh, uh, especially you want to edit the Pac-Man config file. So it's nano again. etc pacmancomf there it is. Uh, you can do a lot of things in here, including completely mess up your system. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're multi-lib for 64 bits, so you just uncomment the square bracket multi-lib and the include server mirror list. And then you just press Control X, Y, and Enter. So let's update that. So it's Pac-Man. To update our mirrors is dash capital S. Y, Y, two Y's. Synchronizing databases. And it should have multi-lib at the end, which it does. And if you want, you can do a Pac-Man slash capital S, I mean dash capital S, U, and there's nothing to update. Okay, so we can start building our system for a graphical interface like a desktop, like a GNOME desktop or XFCE or Cinnamon or Mate and LXDE or just something like awesome window manager etc so first of all we need sound in VirtualBox and you need sound on any system to work so um, oh yeah I forgot there's one thing I like to use is optional that's why I put it in brackets Pac-Man I'm going to find it and locate comes in handy uh, for locating things and then I do an update totally optional db there we go okay now we have to get uh, sound so it's 
and unmute the channel. So it's also on oh, Pac-Man, sorry. Capital S, A L S A dash utils. This is their base sound system in Linux. And it pulls down and oh, we lost our internet. We lost our good internet speed. Oh no, oh, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Okay, done. And all I have to do is type in A A L S A Mixer, one word, also mixer. There it is. You see the first one it says master. You just press M on your keyboard to unmute and then press the arrow up key, crank it all the way up, and then arrow over to PCM. Same thing. M to unmute and then arrow up. And when you're done, just press escape. Now you can do a speaker test. So speaker. <coughs> Keyboard's getting away on me today. Dash test. And just two channels is fine. And you'll hear some noise. Yep, front left and front right. Control C had failed because I interrupted it. Okay, so we have sound working in the virtual box. Now we have to build our graphical system, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Did I miss anything? No, okay. <sighs> Pac Man. Dash capital S Zorg is our main. Uh, Graphic interface service, server, service, whatever. So Zorg dash server, Zorg, Xorg, whatever, dash server. What is with this keyboard? Dash utils, Xorg dash X in it. We'll get the first part. There we go. 14 megabytes or so, and then when it's extracted installed 61 meg so just type just press enter if it's a capital Y just press enter <clears throat> and it'll start downloading okay I'm good with the internet so it'll add uh, two suggestions we'll get that in a minute but we're gonna install VirtualBox update the font cache speaking of which let's get no I'll get that later yeah we're gonna need uh, X Zorg, uh, TWM, and Xterm, at least, an X terminal. So we're going to get uh, VirtualBox guest utils. And then we're going to have to do some loading uh, loading them in. So Pac-Man, again, capital S, VirtualBox, dash, guest. That's not how you spell guest. Uh, utils. Enter. Enter. Mm. Wait for that to finish. Now, no, wait. You show a mod. Probe. Space dash A. And then what it said there. Vbox guest. Vbox SF. And Vbox uh, video. Good. Okay, we're fine. Now I'm going to make sure that it runs at startup each time, so we have to do another nano. etc slash modules. This is a weird one. Mod modules dash load dot d dot directory, I guess. And then virtual box dot config. Press enter. And all we do is you just type in those three things we did with the mod probe. So let's V box guest enter V V box S F enter V box guest and then control X press Y to save to that and we're done. Let's grab the rest of the Zorg servers. So it's Zorg no it's not, it's Pac-Man S Zorg dash T W M Org. Uh, you can get the clock too, so X clock and then uh, X term. I think that's it. Yep. We're done on this part. So now all we have to do is uh, I'll clear the screen. Just type start X. 
success we have our graphical server base running there's our clock over there on the left we bring them into focus and there you go there's your watch so to exit how do you get out of here you just press no you just uh, highlight the first one the first box and just type in exit So now we have uh, everything set up to pretty much, yep, uh, set up to install a desktop environment. Uh, but one more thing, and before we move on, is uh, we're going to add a user. Uh, let's do a setup so we can uh, add a user so they have uh, root access administrative rights. So it's capital, I put this in capitals, editor. And then just equals nano and then V I S U T O. And it says Etsy temp, but it'll write to the file. And on comment, uh, this one, the first we, percent wheel, all equals all, all. That's all you have to do. So control X. Y for yes, and clear screen. Now we do a user add dash m slash g users. Let me say that again user add dash m dash g users group uh, storage power, and that's a comma power, and then wheel one uh, for. Admin rights S to bin, and we'll use bash and your username, whatever you wish. There, no error returned, so that's good. So now we just uh, make a password for our new user so P A S S W D, and then your new username. And let's say, What do you want for a password? We'll type it in twice, and it's been updated successfully. So you just type exit, and you can log in as your new user. So hopefully that works. Now, from now on, we have to use sudo for everything. So sudo pacman dash s y y to update the mirror list again. And you get that message the first time. And you, as you can see, it accepted me as an administrator, and it's... Uh, updating the mirror list okay so that's it so that's uh, part two I'll end it here and next uh, we'll move on to installing a desktop environment